Who in here know what their GPA is right now? I heard they were speaking about grades and passing classes a few minutes ago. Y'all know what your GPA is? Okay. Do y'all know what a credit score is? Okay. So your GPA, well, adults, they don't have a GPA. Me on the other hand, sir, I wouldn't want to spend 8,000 cash even if I had it and cash out on a Hellcat. I would rather use my credit to allow me to finance the car, put 20 down, and pay it off over time so I can use the rest of my money in case I have an emergency, take care of my family, go on vacation, do whatever I want to do. Now, with your future education, college is very expensive. Cost about twenty to twenty-five thousand where I go. I go to the University of Georgia in Athens. Keep your GPA high. With a high GPA, that shows your credibility that you're going to do well when you get to college at that level and be able to excel. So these people are willing to give you money because they believe in you. When I was a senior, I got accepted into either fifteen or seventeen different colleges. And I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with myself. I just like, I always love music. That's the way I express myself, you know? And like, I'm from where y'all from in Greene County. And you know, I have a lot of, experienced a lot of things, young, probably that I shouldn't have experienced. Seen a lot of things, have a lot of built up emotion. And music was the way I experienced that, expressed that. But I was also smart academically. And I was offered a lot of full rides. And guess what I did? Turn it down. I just went to big EGA, it was a big school. They accepted me. My family wanted me to go. I let other people influence me, get in my mind, so I went to UGA. Pay out of pocket though. Well, actually I didn't. Let me tell you what happened. I got to UGA. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And I didn't take it serious. I lost my Hope Scholarship. Lost my Pell Grant eligibility. And I had to sit out of school the whole year. The other day, tell y'all to take it very serious. Your future is in your hands right now. You cannot blame anyone else when you end up in a bad situation. If your life ain't the way you want it to be later on, it's on you. You heard? Okay. When you graduate high school and hopefully attend college, the purpose you're going to college is to receive a degree so that you can qualify to get a higher level job. Once you become an employee, you're what you consider human capital. Human capital means you're an asset to your job. They're going to pay you rated on how much of an asset you are. If you would like $100,000 cars, if you would like $300,000 homes, if you would like to take care of your family adequately, you definitely need to have adequate education to be able to afford these things in life. Uh, anything you want in life, Look it up, put it on your vision board where you see it every day where it motivates you. Like, I, I, I graduated with a 3.9, but I'm just like y'all, I didn't like school when I was here. It was boring, you know what I'm saying? It's other things I'm sure y'all like to do, but it is very necessary. And what you'll learn is that you're learning how to learn right now. When you graduate and when you become an adult, you're gonna be learning more important things that you're gonna actually use every day on your job. You're gonna remember certain things, certain teachers, what they talk to you in certain situations when you experience them and come across them in your life. And also, I just want to see, point out this bottom one right here. Be wise and ask questions when you don't know something. Like, don't just jump out there out of curiosity. You might see somebody else doing something, look cool. Free roam, free range to roam and do whatever. It's going to be a lot of temptation you come across. A lot of people going to tempt you with things. I'm from Small Green County too. It's a lot I haven't seen in life. Sometimes it's just best to say no. You can do anything you want in the world, but some things you just shouldn't want to do, and you should stay away from them. They will deter you from your path. They'll hold you up. You could have been still say, hey, and you might, bro, we here doing this. You try to do it the wrong way. You done got caught up in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Some legal trouble. You never know what can happen. So you got to write out your goals and go on your path, and there's nothing wrong with taking your path alone because everybody can't go where you was meant to go. What God got meant for you is meant for you. You heard? This last book I would like to share with y'all is called The Richest Man Who Ever Lived. It's about King Solomon. I'm not sure if any of y'all read the Bible or not. I'm not going to preach or not. Uh, but it's a great book on how to manage your money and how to acquire money and how to keep it. Like I say, manage your money. Money, you know, you can get a job anyway. It's easy to get, but it's hard to keep, maintain.